I've been at World Vision for about a month now. I'm currently celebrating my 40th year at World Vision. Well, my role at World Vision is to support the impact investing team with business development and sales. Currently, I'm a sponsor specialist, and I handle queries from sponsors that require contact with the overseas office to get the answers. Well, what brought me to work for World Vision is when I was in college in Virginia at Liberty University, I had seen World Vision come visit and give presentations, and I actually had friends who went off to work with World Vision for mission trips, as well as people who started working in World Vision. After having a little bit of volunteer experience with World Vision, when I learned that World Vision was hiring staff in Mississauga, I think I was the first person at the door. Working for an organization like World Vision was my dream job. So when I had the privilege of being hired, I decided to stay as long as World Vision would keep me. And here I am, by God's grace, 40 years later. Well, my, well, my favorite thing about working here, it's only been very short and brief, but thus far, is that everybody has a sense of mission and purpose. My favorite thing about working for World Vision is just knowing that I'm part of an organization that's making a difference in children's lives and in their communities. So I was about to depart on a staff overseas orientation trip. I had sponsored a child in Haiti before the trip, and I had the privilege of meeting my sponsored child. That was life-changing. My sponsored child was the same size as my son. My son was two, and my sponsored child was about six. She put her little hand in mine, and I just, I was just, I just melted. Uh, I would have to say it would be child protection especially growing up in Nigeria and coming from that part of the world, I know that I was very fortunate and blessed to be born in the family I was and also having the opportunities I had to travel. But at the same time, just looking around, I could see just down the street there were other kids who are not as fortunate. It, it wasn't even up to, like, let's call it half a mile drive and I could see other kids were suffering and they'd have to wake up early, go sell stuff in the street. So those type of things actually break my heart when I see it and I try to help the best I can. It's World Vision's work with livelihoods that excites me the most. I get very inspired when I see through the generosity of sponsors and through World Vision's work that families can increase their income and be empowered economically to meet their own needs. What inspires me to succeed every day is that I know that the work I'm doing actually makes a difference. I think that inspires me that I know that the work I do actually matters to somebody's life who would have no way of even saying thank you to me, but it will change the life and the life of their family. It's World Vision's overseas staff that are my biggest inspiration. They work so hard. They work tirelessly. They work long hours. They are completely committed to helping the children and informing our sponsors. I don't, I don't even have one word to be honest with you. And I'll, I'll, I'll probably say a statement which is fulfilling the mission of Christ. If I could sum up World Vision with one word, it would be effective. Um, so my uh, secret shame that I've never told anybody but people are going to find out is that uh, I am a karaoke junkie. An interesting fact about me that people might not know is that I paint. I love art and when I have time, I like to paint. I just had to bring you um, an excerpt of one of my paintings. 